Hey guys, Angelo here. Welcome to another design tutorial. Today we're going to discuss how to use Repeat Grid in Adobe XD. This is really useful when you're repeating elements within a project. So what I have here are two artboards, two iPhone X artboards, and I want to recreate this experience on the left hand side where I have four images and four headlines, and then I have a trending story section below with the same. So I have four images below and then four headlines. I've recreated two versions of each, or one version of each, on this artboard, and we're going to focus on the first set here. So I have my image frame, I have my headline, and then a rectangle with a gray color applied. I'm going to grab my selection tool up top, left hand corner, and I'm just going to highlight to select all three of those uh, elements together. And now instead of recreating this or redesigning it for every time you're going to need it, what the repeat grid does is it allows you to drag out more copies of it. So I have this selected and in my top right hand corner I'm just going to click this button here where it says repeat grid. What that does is it adds a dashed green border around all three elements and it has these two handles to really focus on. One at the bottom and one on the right hand side. I'm going to focus on the one on the right hand side first and I'm going to click it and drag to the right and what that does is it creates another copy for me. That's pretty simple. I could keep dragging for multiple copies and you can keep dragging for how many you need. In this case I only need an extra one to the right. The only problem here is I've set up a four column uh, grid layout for this specific project and this left hand side of my uh, box doesn't match up so I want to adjust the spacing or padding and to do that just go right into the middle here between the two boxes and you'll get this area here where you can adjust the spacing. In this case I want to pull it to the left and I want to set it to about 10. So you can see up top there where it says 10. Now I know that those two are aligned to my column. So I can go ahead and release and I can bring this one to the right hand side to snap it to that guide. And I'm going to do the same thing down below. I'm going to focus on this handle at the bottom and I'm just going to drag out two more copies. So I'm just going to leave it like that. And I do want to adjust the um, padding on this area here because you can see that area and that area are not equal. So I'm going to drag this up until I get to 10 just so I have equal spacing all the way around. So now I have my boxes set up. Let's bring in our images now. So what I'm going to do is pan over to the right a bit and open this folder. I'm going to go to my travel images and these are the four that I want to highlight right there. Okay, I'm going to drag them right into this project. So go ahead, highlight them, drag them over and once they get over here, you want to make sure that you're not just dropping them in because if you drop them in what's going to happen is they're going to place right into the project and not right, not specifically into the repeat grid that I've set up. So hover over the first box and when you see that highlighted blue, um, shaded blue in the first box, go ahead and drop in your images and what that does, it populates the entire repeat grid with all four images. Now if these didn't match up to what you wanted, you can always double click into these headlines and what you can do is override the headlines, go in and edit them as you need. To edit the photos, that is a little bit trickier, so I'm going to double click and what that does is it, it selects the first image in my repeat grid. So if I go ahead and adjust this, what it does is it will adjust all the images together. So I'm just going to hit Command Z and I'm going to double click. So let me show you. I'm going to double click and then double click again and that drills right into that specific image. Now I can go in and edit that image as I need. You can increase it or decrease it and you can see the areas outside the box here are the areas that will not show up. So if I click off now that image, I was able to edit that image without um, affecting the others. So I'm going to double click and then double click again and then make that one just a little bit bigger and then adjust it as you need. That's a good size and then double click, double click again and go ahead and do the same thing. Okay. So that's that's how you would um, create a repeat grid like such. Let's do the same thing down below here. I'm going to highlight them, 
highlight that first set, go to repeat grid, and then drag out three other copies. And then let's adjust the padding, the spacing to 10, and now have equal space. Let's go ahead and open that up. Go to my, uh, let's see, what do I need here? Travel picks. Let's open this up a little bit more. There we go. Let's grab these four, drag it over. Once you see that, drop them right in. And there you go. That's how you would work in repeat grid in Adobe XD. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and we'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye now.